Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today the question I'm answering is, what's in the box? In regards to this, this is a sealed copy of Sentient from Renegade Game Studios. This is a deck uh a deck drafting card drafting card game a drafting card game uh set in a sci-fi future uh as you can tell from the robotic femme on the front this is the next great technological revolution is here sentient robots sentient robots for information transportation industry all at our fingertips building them is now the easy part Programming them has proven to be more complicated. A handful of companies emerged claiming to pull it off, but only one will, will want win out. So it's about programming sentient robots. Your mission is clear. Procure valuable bots and plug them into your network. They'll have an effect on your systems. Anticipate it correctly, calibrate your bots effectively, and attract the right investors to win the lead, win and lead the sentient revolution. I don't know why I had such a hard time reading that. I do apologize. So you're trying to make the most efficient programming system in this game through card drafting. I have not seen what's in this box. This is a card-based board game for ages 12 plus. It plays two to four players with games lasting half an hour to an hour long. That is at least according to the box. Enough about that. Let's crack this open and take a look at what you get in the box for Sentient. Here we have it. The box for Sentient, which I am cracking open. For the first time, I'm expecting punch boards, cards, and a rule book. Well, let's see what we get. Ah, first we get a Renegade Games catalog from whenever this game came out. This is not a new hotness, so it's probably a little older. May or may not be available. Don't mind advertising my games at all. Then we have the rule book. What? A, okay, I, I love that cover. That is That should have been on the cover of the game. That, that would make me want to pick this up more than this, personally. That just looks more interesting, and you get the idea you're building something. That looks like a tool or a useful robot. All right, what we got? Component list. All right, one thing I don't like is show me the backs of the cards. So publishers, listen up. When you show me what cards you get, show me the backs so I can tell them apart. Unless, I may be wrong here. Maybe I'm, I'm given a renegade guff here, and I shouldn't. I, if the backs are all the same, that's fair. Um... Looks interesting. We got more in here than I thought. It looks like we're going to have some cubes and meeples and other things. We've got the setup. Obviously, everyone's got their own player board. And then some cards divided up by some tokens at the top. Uh, font here is tiny. Really tiny. Look at how small those words are. Something my aging eyes don't appreciate. Okay, weird. It's super tiny here. But then it gets bigger. Strange. Um, how to set up for each round. How to play. Looks like plenty of examples. End of a round. Uh, we're looking at, what, six pages so far? An example. Examples. Oh, earning investors. So that's still rules. So we're still looking at rules. End of the game final. So nine pages total. And then some summary of icons. Yeah, summary of icons on the back, which is always nice. Punch boards. Pretty. I, again, I dig the art. Uh, the game's more striking inside. Obviously, these are, are numbered various ways. One, two, three, four in different colors. The color palette's appealing. Um, victory point tokens? Yeah, it looks like some kind of money or victory point tokens. Yeah, because there's ones and fives. Uh, then we have player boards. Kind of boring on the back, but... Fair enough. You don't have to put art on both sides. If it saves us money producing the game. I really dig this art. Like, for... How much I'm complaining about the cover. Once you actually get into the game. That's very striking. All unique. Oh, we have tens. Alright. Box insert that's already kind of folded and beat up. Wow, these are huge cards. And dice. Look at these nice custom dice. Wow, the back of this box does it a disservice. Alright, except for the fact that the cheap box insert here that's not even staying together. Um, the dice here, here's a, the people talk about storing your games vertically. 
Here's one of the things that can happen if you store your games vertically. The dice are heavier. They should be at the bottom. So the cards are huge. They're, they're uh, I think that's tarot size. So we're looking at tarot size cards and a significant deck of them. Let's take a look at those first. All right. So I admit, my bad. I shouldn't have got mad at Renegade. Backs are all the same. Totally fair. Fronts, though. Look at this art. Look at that. That is a... Oh, no. The multiple's the same. I was really hoping all of these would be unique. All right. Slightly disappointed just because I love the art. I would have liked to have seen more. Looks like really clear iconography. Oh, they all do have different numbers. Oh, yeah, so they do different things. So it's not identical cards, but they obviously all have the same type of robot here. That's an industry robot. Now we have a military robot. Yeah, all the military robots look the same. I was really hoping every one of those cards had unique art. Fair enough. I, I understand art's not free. Looks cool, though. I like the artwork. Really simple iconography here. This looks like it's going to be a quick-to-learn game. Simple to see. Like, being able to read that three from across the table is going to be really easy. That four. Uh, those were information robots. Okay, that's weird. The one with all the arms that I assumed was doing assembly is actually an information robot. Um, then we have transport robots, which just kind of looks like a sci-fi vehicle. Digging the art. Interestingly, the character that's on the box isn't even in the game. That's the closest you get to it. That's not this character. Oh, maybe it is. All right, maybe it's the same character with wilder hair. Odd choice to not even include the art. So the cover of the box, besides not drawing me in, isn't actually used in the game. Um, can I bag these? No, we'll just put them in here for now. They'll be fine for now at least. All right. Cubes. So not cubes. Got all kinds of things here. Probably in the different player colors. Um, what's going to be show up the best? So we've got, I would call the meeple. Stand up. Then you've got gears. Gear cylinders. They got a nice texture to them. And then I don't know how to describe what this is. It's like a cube kind of thing, but it's inset in the corners. So like a box kind of reminds me a bit of the um, companion cube from Portal, but it can 2D. Well, not quite 2D because it's, it's a wooden piece. It's, it's got some thickness to it, but it's not a full cube. So we have that in three different colors. White, no, four different colors. These are probably the player colors. Four different colors, whole bunch of cubes. Then we've got dice. Five different colors, uh, unique color choices. Looks like they're standard D6s. Um, let's just grab a couple of the different colors out here. All right, so I got pink and green ones here. They've got like technological tech boards, kind of circuit board looking on them, which I got to say is actually pretty cool. Uh, so we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, standard D6 dice in different colors, but I love that tech look. I'm going to be really tempted to steal these to use in RPGs like PBTA games because these would be some great like pairs of dice for rolling 2d6 in a sci-fi game. Pretty, pretty dice. Not going to bother opening them all up. You can see them well enough here. Um, plus, uh, they're pretty and stacked and nicely organized here by color. So that's it. That's what you get. The Sentient from Renegade Games. More than I expected. I expected punch boards and cards. And you got punch boards, as expected, cards. But the cards are tarot size with really nice looking art and very clear iconography on it. You got lots of little wooden bits in four different colors. And five different dice, D6 dice with a custom. And the other thing I didn't note, these are etched. That is not screen printed dice. Looking forward to checking this game out in the future. So there you have what you get in the box for Sentient from Renegade Games. 
a drafting card game that obviously has a large dice element, lots of wooden components in here. Honestly, more than I was expecting this box. I expected some cards and some punch boards, maybe a central board, some player boards, and that's about it. There's way more in here, some nice card pieces. Really cool looking artwork that, uh, that I've got to say is more impressive than this cover in my opinion. Strangest thing to me was the fact this art, this piece of art, was not in the game at all. Just used for the cover. Which is a unique choice. Game looks good. Uh, supposedly it's all about trying to program robots. I don't know if it's a program movement game or whatever. But I am looking forward to checking that game out. I do thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, and at TabletopBellhop.com. If you dig this video, it would be awesome if you headed over to Patreon.com slash TabletopBellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. That's all I got for tonight. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel, and while you're here, smash that subscribe button, ding the bell to get notifications, and it would be awesome if you interacted. Leave a comment on this video. What do you think? Have you played Sentient? Did you like it? Would you pick it up? Do you recommend it for other people? As for my opinion, you'll be able to see that on the blog and YouTube eventually when I get the game played. That's it for this. Good night, and game on.